Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris and today we're going to talk about Bitcoin and some of the hot and trending altcoins that are in a sense blasting off right now. Speaking of that, we'll take a look at Ethereum. And real quick, I just wanted to give a thanks out to CZ, right? I think Altcoin Daily put it good. He tried to save the people from FTX and even helped bring SBF to justice. He is now sacrificing himself to save Binance Crypto Exchange and probably the whole Bitcoin bull run. This man is a hero. And uh, essentially what happened, um, well, and honestly, this picture is like, what I feel like greater America looks at Bitcoin like. So that's why, you know, uh, we're not too early. As Janet Yellen came out and said, Binance had been fined $4 million and they have to leave the US. Yada, yada, long story short, most people still look at crypto like this. And that means there's still a lot of opportunity out in, in these markets. So. First off, I just wanted to talk about this little uh, bull flag we pointed out here um, on Ethereum, giving us kind of the next target up at 2472, seeing if that lines up with anything. Additionally, we have, uh, so what is a bull flag? Well, essentially, um, it's like this, you flag, you make the flag out, and then you get the next mark up which uh, we didn't quite uh, fulfill on that flag. Actually, if you take it from the break, close enough is close enough. Additionally, how do these flags typically break? Well, um, a bull flag, oddly enough, is pointed down, making lower lows and lower highs. And uh, essentially what you want to see is a higher low after the third touch, right? Higher low after the third touch, and then a confirmed breakout would be a break above the middle wick of the previous high or of the W formation. And that would be coming in right here at 20,000, 20,000, 2,052 bucks. Any kind of four hour a closure above there. I'm looking for a run at the highs and then potential for more as Ethereum has been a little bit slower over the past couple of days against Bitcoin. Really quick, I want to check on the ETH Bitcoin pairing. And we did say this is essentially what we wanted to see is a higher low from this region, um, a higher high and another higher low and kind of to bust back on through this way that would indicate a bit more of an altcoin season. Um, Additionally, total market cap, total three. So um, altcoin season, we do not want to see this happen, which it looks like we, uh, we did get the lower low and now we need the higher high. So keeping an eye on that for alt season. Additionally, um, tether dominance, tether dominance, uh, putting in a bit of a W, looks like it does wanna take a leg higher people selling their altcoins for tethers. So not, not exactly what we wanted to see. We, we do want to see another lower high and continuation of the downside there. And good old Bitcoin dominance taking a leg down as Ethereum is getting a bit of a breather. Also wanted to denote here on Ethereum, you can see open interest is climbing steadily, especially on the shorter term timeframes. I just noticed here as we rallied, open interest building as prices going up, typically that indicates you're going to get um, a move to the upside as people are probably building some long positions there. However, I still wouldn't mind if Ethereum came down to this green box at about 1850. I'm sure there's a pocket of liquidity sitting there. Let's just check in really quick on Ethereum. Where's the liquidity lying this morning? coming in at 1909. So people are now net long. And, you know, after a bit of a pump like this, uh, would it be okay for us to uh, pop back down, perhaps even down to 1960? Yes. Um, and that would just be another lower high in the making or sorry, it would be a, on the one minute time frame. Needless to say, um, I am, I'm leaning towards a bit of an ETH breakout as 
uh, this pairing right here, ETH Bitcoin on the daily is attempting to put in a higher low. Will be confirmed today, pretty much here or higher. And you got a nice trend reversal on the daily time frame for the ETH Bitcoin. I think that's key to keep an eye on. And that would set the trend for Ethereum to kind of continue to outperform Bitcoin and then us to kind of uh, us or we um, looking at this as, you know, a descending triangle or sorry, a ascending triangle with higher lows likely to have already pretty much broken out as we've called out over the past week or so, um, you know, with the ultimate target of about 3,200 on Ethereum. That would be what we want to see uh, for the ETH bulls out there on the Bitcoin side of thing side of things. We've uh, kind of been holding the line in the sand on the four hour time frame, which um, I did have marked off here. And no, oh, maybe I had it up there. Did I have it up at? No, it was uh, 35,400. I specifically remember Rob coming in here yesterday asking about that. Um, 35,400, kind of that line in the sand. Let's see if the volume profile can help us out here at all. Um, I would have to need to put it on P P R. Well, oh, there it is. Visible range profile. So where's that main point of control coming in right now? All the way down here at uh, 34,300. So interesting. I, I think we've said, you know, kind of the daily line in the sand is 33,000. Um, I, I think you could probably even move it up to this level here based on the volume profile. Yeah, I'd say this this is kind of the next major area uh, at 33 to 39,000. If this does break to the downside, this could be a bit of a trap move. Uh, as you can see, this this trend line getting broken to the downside. That's why it's best to trust the horizontals and not the diagonals. Um, I think that's a conversation for another day at the moment. As Ethereum is look, looking a little bit more on the bullish side, I, I kind of generally think, you know, Bitcoin tends to drag its way onwards and upwards. Still, it's more of the same boring thing. And that's why we're going to take a look at some of the altcoins. Uh, we took a look at Ethereum. So if Ethereum continues to get, do good, Bitcoin continues to trudge the road of happy destiny sideways and to the up, up and to the right then uh, some of these altcoins are going to continue to rip. And there is a chart I want to bring up here. And I believe it is the altcoin Bitcoin pairing. Let's see if I can get my... No, not Bitcoin treasuries. Bitcoin open interest. No, where did I save this new chart i'll have to bring it up next time apparently that's not it brand new chart uh comparing the altcoins i know i've got it here top performing altcoins versus bitcoin let's see You know, I'm going to bring this chart up another day. Let's just take a look at what I think is apparently hot in the news place right now with no apparent rhyme or reason. I'm not going to go in the technicals behind it or what the highly esteemed Internet technology is that is going to make these things rise to new amazing levels. We're just going to look at it from what could be uh, the potential here. All right. So. 
starting it off with, uh, again, not AKT, which that is one of them, to be fair. I mean, this one, uh, something about filing storage for Web3 uh, has pumped 84% in the past couple of days um, back to the highs. And I did tell somebody that, look, this one probably has room for a little bit more. Um, I do think the ultimate highs are, you know, somewhere back there for AKT. Another one, TQ Tawari had been pumping this coin. Um, AXL, when we talked about, oh, back here and said, hey, look, um, probably going to run up to the 786, very similar to the Tau coin. And then it's uh, going to be lower, higher, not kind of make or break right now. Um, I would say, you know, a daily, you know, back below 58.99 is not going to look good uh, for this one. And probably going to play out more of the Tau type uh, rally as this one came in, hit the 786, back down to the 236, made a little double bottom and then took off. As I don't believe anybody even knows about this AXL coin. It just came out on Coinbase not too long ago. Um, if you did want to get this one, LTT Lit Lab Games. It's a game studio that's um, very, very low market cap. Again, uh, shout out to the guys at Crypto Banter for pound, uh, pounding this one out. Um, it looks like... A complete degen play, but um, low liquidity. And by the way, um, there is a holiday coming up. Thanksgiving is here. It's upon us. All the links in the description below. So a link for Mexi where you can actually get this token. Trading view. You need to have trading view if you want to become a trader out there. Um, BitGet and NordVPN. So if you want to protect your privacy links in the description below check them out guys make sure you like and subscribe and throw me a comment below if you have any questions i will make you aware um pretty difficult to even get into some of these coins because the liquidity is so low but uh where could it go are we in the first wave second wave you know third wave i i have nothing to actually to even say on this 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 looks absolutely ridiculous okay um but uh tau which does look like it's amidst a pullback and for me on this one um i'd be looking to pick up off of somewhere off of this uh trend line here um as it does look like short-term pullback especially if we start closing below 220 and probably going to refill at least down to 174 and then it might be you know off to the races uh but looking to pick more up down in this region off of tau and that is some kind of a uh, decentralized ai token the other one uh ntr we talked about this one looks similar to um and again, this one I heard has really highly esteemed technology that's being in use that a lot of people are going to convert to soon. Uh, very, very, you know, again, low market cap. But um, when you talk about coins that could go up, you know, 10, 20 X, something like that, um, that's where they start as at these low levels. And just similar to what Tau has done, I, I would say, you know, my, my, target on this one's at 130 uh, very similarly to tau and again i think this is you know coins that are making new all-time highs already into the beginning of this bull market again we are in you know if you go from the candle body to candle body we basically hit that thing to a T, so maybe i should use the take profits there at the 4236 but parabolic blow-offs wick to wick says it could have a little bit more i guess it just getting greedy here now um after because since we we I, I believe we caught this one we started talking it about it around 85 i said look um you know I, I i actually i knew it was running right when we we took off right here um okay another one ewt uh that i have 
looked at, charted, looks clean for a bit of a breakout. This one has something to do with uh, BlackRock and uh, ESG or something like that. Again, don't ask me about the technology, but deviation below the range lows, pops back above it, clears it. And, you know, for this one to uh, just get back to up to the range high, it's 492. We're at 250 right now. Um, that would probably be my target on this one. And then taking a look at the CRV trade that we had been talking about. Um, let's see if I have it charted on another graph. There we go. So pretty much uh, nailed the entry to the T there, said, hey, look, if it does come back and tap this area, let's get involved and uh, looking to, you know, take a long position up to about 116, uh, you know, but all systems go there right now. And I do believe they're going to get a bit of a lift off. Why is that? Well, Uni, Uni, Mr. Unibomber, um, Uni. I don't know exactly why people use this one. Apparently, it's up 20% today. Um, but this one is breaking out of the same, essentially, uh, massive uh, descending triangle, wedge, whatever you want to call it. Deviation below the range lows, pops back, reclaims this trend line. You know, gets a retest and uh, looks like this one's heading up to about 670 and with room to go for more. Uh, essentially, what you'd want to see if you are bullish on this one is a rip right above here, higher low, and then next target up. So, we're talking about a pretty good move here, um, you know, to the tune of 100%. And this could happen, you know, over the next few weeks, a uh, few months. And of course, the Invalidation on this one is, well, um, you know, you could put it back below this low or below this wick right here at 445. Okay, what other one did I want to bring up as we're doing a bit of an altcoin day today? Uh, chain link um, did not get down to the lower extremity uh, target that we were looking for on the four hour. But uh, has room to get there as we're making lower highs and lower lows at the moment. Um, has the chance for a higher low and a bit of a buy signal there. Bullish divergence. One, two, three drives uh, coming back from this low right here. So you can see higher low, but lower low in RSI. Higher low, lower low in RSI. And... How would we confirm this as a higher low? And I'd probably be looking for, you know, it's pretty much confirmed in my book. Uh, this one probably takes a run up to 1526 um, based on the four hour hidden bullish divergence coming from a low level. And we are coming into a holiday weekend. And uh, today is Wednesday. Is tomorrow Thanksgiving? Holy smokes. Holy smokes. The year's already flashed by here. We're at Thanksgiving. So it's a good time to kind of evaluate your portfolio and decide where you want to be at. More in Bitcoin, more in altcoins. You know, I'm not a Bitcoin maxi, but I definitely think uh, Bitcoin is the digital gold standard of the industry. Well, altcoins provide you a little bit more opportunity for growth as the law of diminishing returns shows that, you know, over time, you're not going to get the same 20,000, 40,000% gains uh, like previous bull markets. But overall, uh, things are looking good. And with that said, I think it's a good time to remember what you are thankful for. Uh, enjoy your family and your kids and some good food. And I'll probably be back, uh, if not Thursday, uh, for Friday uh, to make a video. Hope you guys have a blessed and highly favored weekend. Take care.